Okay, so let's uh, cover how to create custom functions in Google Sheets in this video. So what we're trying to accomplish here, we're trying to, so you know if you're using some functions in Google Sheets, you're probably doing like equals, and then you type the function name, and then you use parentheses and maybe provide some arguments, and then your function returns something, right? So there are some built-in functions that are available in Google Sheets, but you can also create your own functions using app scripts. So I'm gonna go to my scripts. The first thing I want to do, I'm gonna create a function. I'm gonna, this, the name of the function is gonna be the function that we're going to use uh, in our sheets. So I'm gonna create a meaningless function just for illustration of this video, just so we can see how it actually works. So let's call this multiply by five right that's what i'm gonna call this function so there it is multiply hopefully i spelled it right by five so uh, that's uh, what my function name is going to be so i did it all caps just to follow the regular syntax in Google uh, Sheets uh, or Excel functions, all caps type of thing, but it doesn't have to be in all caps, right? So anyway, so if our function is going to accept some arguments, like for example, if we're using like a sum function, we provide some arguments, see like the value one is an argument, then value two is an argument. If we want to provide some arguments, those arguments will have to pass through our parentheses here. So uh, I'm going to call this argument just arg. So this could be really anything. So I can go call it x and then I'll be able to use it later on. So let's call it x for simplicity. So that's going to be my argument that I'm passing. So I'm going to allow the user to pass an argument to the function. And what I want the function to do, I want to simply multiply whatever number that person uses by five, because we're creating this meaningless function, as I said, that's going to multiply by five, right? So uh, in your function, you're going to have your function logic that's going to happen line by line over here. So Technically, this could be a one-liner function, but so we, I can illustrate that you can have some logic here. I'm going to go and let's say I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to call it variable the result equals, right? So my result is going to be equal to whatever that x is that the user is going to pass. x, I'm going to multiply that by 5. Let's make it clean and semicolon so that's the variable and what we're going to do so if you're going to make a function that the user is going to use you want to make sure that your function in the end returns a value so in this case it's going to return this result whatever that is and semicolon to end that so if i save this so initially the user is going to pass the x value the x value is going to multi be multiplied by five we're going to get the result and we're going to return it back from the function so now at this point if I go and use this function so I'm gonna go ahead and save this go back to my sheets let's put a number here and I'm gonna say right next to it equals uh, multiply by 5 I'm gonna open parentheses and I'm gonna use that number and close my parentheses hit enter and there it is, 30. So we took that 6, multiplied by 5, and we return it. So it's 30. So if we go back and modify the 6 to 8, now we're going to have 8 multiplied by 5. We're going to get 40. Well, you get the idea. So that's that. So one thing that you're going to notice when you go back here and you t start typing multiply by... See, the function doesn't show up in a functions list as a default so you can still use it as I did but it doesn't show up as the user types the function so you can actually use some special comment syntax on top of your function to make autocomplete work 
and that works with this uh, I don't know whatever they call it JDoc or whatever syntax it is but basically it's like you start with this line of command over here so you have to start the first one with this double stars and end with a star so this is like the regular uh, JavaScript comment this is like the multi-line JavaScript comments look like this right now what we do we add another star and that's kind of like a, our documentation I guess function what we're gonna do and what we have to do we'll have to use this uh, stars on each line and on one of the lines I have to define that what this is gonna be a custom function uh, and this is kind of like a documentation or autocomplete for that custom function so I'm gonna do this add sign custom function that's that and here on top of that I want to actually just explain what this function is going to do I'm going to say multiplies the given number by five right something like that so I'm gonna go ahead and save this now let's go back to our spreadsheet and start typing multiply see and now multiply by five functions start showing up in my results after using the special comments and you can see as I'm rolling over that it explains what the function is going to do it says the as I'm for example these are built-in functions on top it says product of two numbers right if we keep going down it says multiply the given number by five which is what my autocomplete syntax was so multiply by five and then it says object so there are uh, ways to actually uh, improve this okay so it would be nice for us to explain what the, this x parameter is that the user is going to pass so I'm going to add another line here I'm going to do at param oh no space here and since this is X I'm trying to explain what that is so I'm going to say param X uh, basically after this that's the explanation and I'm going to say it's uh, a number that will be multiple I guess that's as good as any so now at this point if we go back and equals multiply whoop, there it is multiply by 5 so you can see that here we have this suggestion that the that X that we require in this function that's a number that will be multiplied so again if you want to kind of explain what that parameter is for that's what it's here for so you do this the parameter so that's that escape out of this now I'm gonna go back okay so uh, let's use another example let's say we have let's leave this function alone and I'm just gonna copy and paste it to make it easy multiply two numbers right so in this case let's say we have two arguments so and again instead of calling them X and Y I'm gonna call them arg1 and arg2 in this case so I'll go ahead and type arg1 multiplied by arg2 so this function is gonna be like the regular function uh, multiply function I guess that multiplies two numbers but we're going to make our own version of it so there it is so multiply two numbers arg1 and arc 2 we're going to take those two numbers that the user is going to pass so this will be a function that will have two arguments and then we will uh, get the result and return it back and finally let's make some documentation for this function so i'm going to go back here paste this on top and again pay attention I'm pasting this above the function declaration so multiplies two numbers and then the param the first one is org1 so param x 
one of the numbers for multiplication uh, and we also have the second argument and we want to describe what that's for so I'm gonna say param arc 2 second number for multiplication it's as good as any I guess so I'm gonna go ahead and save this go back to my sheets 8 and 6 so I'm gonna go equals multiply two numbers that's our new function see the argument one one of the numbers for multiplication argument two second number for multiplication so we're gonna take this oops uh, it shouldn't have gone there so click here click on this one comma click on the second one so we are passing two arguments and hit equals 48 now if we take 3 and 2 that should be 6 so there you go that's how you actually create your own functions obviously your functions can be much more complex and as we go forward we'll create more complex functions but this would be a basic understanding how you create a function and how you actually create some syntax that your function has autocomplete functionality to it and some explanation what your parameters are. All right, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe for our future App Scripts videos and I'll see you next time.